Okay, so let's take a look at mutine. And this does seem sort of odd uh, to have a video on mutine, but uh, mutine in the personas, and uh, it's probably the same way in the other digital boards as well. And uh, for those of you who have like the Behringer's, Allen Heath, even the Yamaha, uh, feel free to comment below uh, if you find some similarities with this. So mutine on the personas is uh, a little bit more involved and comparing it with an analog board basically with an analog board if you were to go mute something uh, that it would be muted all the way across if you wanted the channel muted it was muted everywhere meaning in all the auxes everywhere when the when the uh, frequency comes in pardon me when like when somebody's singing they come in we go to mute them they're muted period so not quite the same on the Personas board. So when looking at it, uh, as you can tell here, we've got, uh, I've got a mic set up. So we've got uh, metering here. We've got a good signal coming in. Test one, two, test. All right, this is our front of house. You can probably tell hopefully here in the video. Uh, this is all blue up here, so we're on the main front of house mix. Test one, two, stuff's coming in fine. Now, I've got this signal routed to mix one. And here it is right here. He's on mix one, but I, I don't have I don't have the master turned up, so I won't, the only thing I've got turned up is front of house. So the signal's coming in. We can see it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this main the front of house mix muted. All right, we can still see the signal coming in, but obviously there's nothing coming through front of house. So let's switch over to the aux mix. Now. Here's the signal here. Now, as you can tell, the mute light is off. Test one, two. There's the monitor mix. So I still have a signal coming in, and it's coming in through the monitors. But if I look back at the main mix, the front of house, I've got it muted. This is what led some confusion for me, uh, trying to figure out why isn't this thing actually muting. All right, aux mix one. So what we can do is if we're on the aux, we can select mute. But we really don't want to have to do that. Because if I go over to mix two, which we don't have anything on mix two, but you can tell it's not muted. We'll go back to mix one, the one we're on. I just muted that. It is mute. Let's go back to the main mix. Test one, two. And now I have it coming through the main. But if I flip back to the aux mix number one, it's still muted here. So let's go back to the main mix, turn that down. We'll go back to the aux mix, it's still muted here. I unmute and I, I have uh, audio. Okay, so with the master aux volume down, let's go back to our main mix. Test one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, it's working on the, on the front house mix. So what's going on here? Well, what's happened is, well, nothing's really wrong. There is a configuration within the uh, console that controls a lot of the muting that goes on here. And uh, hopefully here, maybe I can get in here a little bit on it so you can see a better idea of what's going on. So as you can tell, we're on the vocal channel. But now if we select our home, we go to the system, there's something called link aux mutes. We're gonna select that. Now, as you can tell, hopefully here you can read that, the top one is unlinked, which means all the muting that takes place, what that means is all the muting that takes place between front of house and all the aux mixes is all independent of each other. Now, that, there may be a real good reason for that, uh, but considering we use this board for uh, live sound only, no studio or any kind of recording or anything like that, uh, I'm not too sure if I can see a benefit for that. There probably is. I don't see one. So what you want to do is actually if you want the mute to, if you press a mute button, if you want it to impact everything, you want to do the global mute link. What that will do is that will mute every channel when you press the mute button. Not every channel, I'm sorry. It will mute every, every output on here, every aux output, plus it will mute the main out. So with that selected, we'll go back to home here. Let's select our um, channel here. 
Test, one, two. Test, one, two. Test, test. All right, we got the front of house. Okay, we're gonna mute it. Test, one, two. We're muted. Let's go back to mix one. And there it is, it's muted. Test, one, two. Test, one, two. I can unmute it here, which results in it being unmuted here. So the global linking there, Whatever layer I'm on, that mute button does one thing. It'll mute or unmute the channel across all of the auxes. And this is the way that we have the board set up. So right now, you're hearing me talking, but it's coming through front of house. So let's get rid of that. We'll go back to the uh, aux one. Here we are on aux one, and we're gonna turn up aux one. So here is the aux mix for this one. Now there are other uh, features with this. Let's go back to our home screen. Uh, let's see here, let me see if I can zoom in again. Hopefully it's not out of focus, doesn't look like it is. Once again, it's on the link, aux mutes. And you can select different types of muting, what you want to use it for. Uh, main mute auxes, all aux mute link, uh, some of these, I said, I, I can sort of see having a purpose for it, but um, not necessarily for everything. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, what I got to set on here? Uh, main mute auxes. So let's select here. All right. Main mute auxes. So we go back to the board. We're at front of house. Test one, two. Test, test, test one, two. All right. Now we've muted, that's front of house. Let's go back to the, um, there we go. Okay, as you can tell, it is now flashing. Test one, two, test one, two. And I've turned up, you can see on the right of your screen over here, I've turned up the master for this aux mix. I have nothing coming in. So this is pretty good because at this, at least at this uh, level, See, we can tell, no matter whatever aux mix that we're on, that the mute is flashing. Test one, two. So, with the volume master down a little bit. Test one, two. Test one, two. Okay, now this aux mix is coming through. So let's take a look at number two. Okay, aux mix number two, and I'm gonna assume here on down, let's look at 12, everybody on down here. Yeah, everybody else here is muted, except for aux one, which I intentionally unmuted. Test one, two, but all these other auxes has it all muted. Main mix, still muted. So I've got the master fader over here on the right, front of house, it's not coming through, it's still muted. But it's unmuted here because I have unmuted it. Now, I'm gonna do another mute. Okay, we're back to it flashing. We can go back to the main mix. Test one, two, main mix is now unmuted. And if I go back to here, I'm unmuted here. Let me get rid of that. There we go, the monitor volume is down now. So there is a little bit more functionality with muting, uh, but I would highly recommend if you're used to it in the analog world, uh, if we go back to our link aux mixes, and the very bottom one, if you select global mute link, which is really the one that, um, that I probably recommend for live sound. Uh, it's, it's where we always keep the board because as soon as we, as soon as we mute somebody, we want that person, no matter what aux they're on, to be muted. Because during a band changeover here, we'll get rid of that. During a band changeover, uh, if we do our uh, mute groups, if we're going through thinking we're muting people, we're actually not. We're only muting them in front of house, not in the monitors. So. Hopefully the, this was helpful. Good luck on muting.